Today on SVG News, this hard to believe rumor is making the next Grand Theft Auto considerably, well, grander. Plus, Red Dead Redemption 2's Arthur Morgan returns in God of War. You, sir, are a fish. In late 2020, God of War fans received news that a sequel was officially on its way for 2018's God of War. Since then, fans have wondered how the new game will follow up on the first game's ending, how it will build upon the series' mythology, and which characters will be along for the ride. This wild speculation has led to several rumors, including one claiming that actor Roger Clark, aka Red Dead Redemption 2's Arthur Morgan, is playing none other than Thor in the new installment. Although it turns out that might be a load of, excuse our French, Huey. Watch your tone, boy. But where exactly did that rumor start? Clark himself cleared the air regarding this God of War rumor during a recent interview with Dan Allen Gaming. Allen wasted no time in asking about Clark's relationship with Sony Santa Monica's biggest action franchise. When Clark was asked about the possibility of seeing him as the God of Thunder, Clark explained that this all seemingly started when he tried to point some video game industry hopefuls in the right direction. Clark said, I know where that rumor originated, and it's kind of funny. Just for example, with this thing here, someone said, oh, how do, I, how do I get into video games? Whenever I see a studio announce that they're recruiting, I share it. Clark was hoping to help people find a gig in video games, and wanted to boost the signal when it came to Sony Santa Monica's recent job openings. However, throwing his support behind the studio most famous for producing 2018's God of War led people to believe that he was working with the studio directly. So I'm not confirming uh, or denying anything, but hey. I mean, the, it's, it's a little bit of a leap, I have to say. It is interesting to note that Clark said he's not confirming or denying anything, which leaves a door open to plenty of speculation. Does this mean that Clark is involved in God of War Ragnarok, just not as Thor? As Dan Allen pointed out at the top of the interview, Clark has likely signed an NDA and couldn't tell people what he was working on, even if he wanted to. Anything you can share about future projects, he can't <laughs> share a damn thing, I know that. In the meantime, as excitement for the God of War sequel grows, fans will probably have to wait for an official announcement from Sony regarding any casting. Fans of the Grand Theft Auto franchise have been waiting with bated breath, wondering when Rockstar Games will officially reveal Grand Theft Auto 6. All that's known about the game right now is that it exists. Not a single other detail has been confirmed. That hasn't stopped the rumor mill from churning, though, with each new leak generating a ton of buzz in the GTA community. What makes this latest bit of gossip interesting is how it claims all of the rumor mongers have actually been underselling the next GTA. You love that, don't you? You love that. According to the leak, Grand Theft Auto 6 will feature, quote, five contiguous cities across five states. On top of that, the poster claims there is actually a sixth city that will be featured in the game, making it even larger than some past leaks have described. The leaker goes on to say that GTA Online has essentially been a staging ground for new assets and mechanics, adding that the team at Rockstar have been trying out new techniques, such as adding more area to existing maps. Finally, this anonymous source ends with quite a whopper, stating, quote, Part of the leaks have been correct. You guys are putting together pieces, but are greatly underestimating how all these things work together. The part about a larger GTA map will undoubtedly sound great to some. If the world is more expansive than anything seen before in the series, that'll go a long way toward making it truly feel like a living, breathing place. And the claim about GTA Online being used to test new things makes sense. That online-only mode is essentially a survey in video game form. If players like or don't like something, they'll make noise about it, and that could help Rockstar hone in on making GTA 6 even better. However, as with so many rumors involving GTA 6, it's best you take this one with a grain of salt. The source of it will sound awfully familiar to those who pay close attention to these things. It's a 4chan user who claims to work at Rockstar. Why, why do you keep saying that? Hmm? Further, it seems you can't even track down the original post anymore if it even existed in the first place. All there is to go on is a purported Imgur screen cap of it. You can decide for yourself how much stock you want to put in that. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. Still, hearing anything about Grand Theft Auto 6 is welcome news, as fans have gone a while without a substantial update, rumor, or otherwise. Hopefully, the game is still coming along. And hopefully it is every bit as ambitious as gamers are expecting. 